Hello. Hey guys. So welcome to our channel. Yes. Plus it's going up on both channels. Yep. Both channels. Yeah. So if you haven't already, go subscribe. He's trying to make it to a thousand subscribers. Yes. But anyway, boy, what we have today is a uh, Japanese uh, goodie box. And this one's from Boksu.com. This is a more of a premium style box, for sure. And this is more just Japanese candies. This is actually more Japanese snack items from all over Japan instead of just uh, mainstream candies. So it's got some like healthier snacks in it. Yeah. I was like, why not give it a shot? I've got three of these things coming, so. And this is box number one. I'm so excited. <clears throat> yep. So. I'll let you open it up. I get to open it. Yep. Oh, you can don't tell this is a premium experience. Thank you. Since my early days of living in Japan, I've loved discovering delicious snacks from local Japanese snack makers. That's just why I am thrilled to present to you this first box of. This first box curated across the culturally rich regions and seasons of Japan. I would also like to wholeheartedly thank you and welcome you to the Bokshar family. Boksu family. Bokshu family, which an active membership in addition to receiving monthly themed snack boxes. You can get a member exclusive discount on all orders in the Boksu market. Join our thriving global community, gain access to exclusive online content, and so much more. Happy, Happy snacking. snacking. Wow, this is premium. Holy crap. We got a little nice book. Yeah, a little booklet. This will tell you exactly what we got in here. It's kind of thick. Nice. I'm just gonna have to bring it up and show. That is packed. Holy crap. Well, they kind of packed it in there nicely, too. Uh huh. Wow. I ain't gonna read everything out of this book. Yeah, I think I've got a referral code, referral code for this. On my uh, account, so if I do, we'll, I'll just put that down. The, okay. If y'all want to try it, if I don't, I'm sorry. So I guess they have something for like each, each season. season. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> wait. Let's just go. Just get into it. So see, I'll let you pick the first one. Oh, I'll just go right off the top here. And we got these doohickeys. They're like a cracker of sort. Here they are. There are mini red bean crackers. So. This golden cracker consumes a thin layer of red bean paste that adds a hint of sweetness. The flavor is inspired by Shiruko, a traditional Japanese dessert of sweet bean porridge. Kind of hard to get into. <laughs> mm, that's good. Here you go. Thank you. It smells good. That's good. Mm -hmm. No, it's super sweet. I just. Enough. Mm-hmm. It's a nice mellow flavor. I mm. like that. Put it on top. I'm interested in this one. Mmm. Look like little puff balls. Yeah. Those are interesting.
while you're getting it open, I'll figure out what those are. That's page eight and forward. Hmm. I know it's like page eight and four. Right here. It. They're uh, Fuari, Majin, Mochi Puffs, Kinakla. Yeah, they're like really puffy. They're like Mochi Crisp. I'm afraid to touch them. They're very light and airy, I can already tell you that. Mm. They melt in your mouth. Oh my god. Where have you been my whole life? Wow. Give me another. Oh yeah, my god. I got like five in here. Holy crap. <laughs> That is so dang delicious. You want the last one? No. <laughs> they got kind of like that cocoa puff mm -hmm. taste to it, don't it? Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> I just need a whole bag of that. Oh my god. So delicious. Mmm. Dang, look at all the stuff they got in there. Right? Let's try these thingamabobbers. Damn it, I really need to get my... Here, here they are. Yeah, yeah. rice crackers. No, oh, rice crackers. Nice. Puku puku tai. Oh, no, on oh, uni rice cracker. Okay. Yeah. Sure. They're kind of a salty snack. Oh, yeah, they're a savory. Uh, These delicious fried crackers pull their lovely umami flavor from the uni sea urchin and soy sauce. She heard sea urchin and she's like, oh gosh. Oh, I've seen the word fishy in there. I'll give it a shot. It'll look like a fried treat. There is a slight fishy taste to it, but it's not overpowering. I have a feeling it's going to be one I'm eating. I didn't get the fishy taste in it. Did you? I did. Mm okay. I'm interested in that one. In this one? Yeah. I've seen these things on YouTube before. Really? Yeah. Right here. Black Seed Sesame Taiko Kumanon Design. Each of these CD drums were handmade in Kum. Uh. Kumamoto, home, hometown of uh, Kumamon. By roasting almonds and sesame seeds and mixing them by hand with a mizume. Mi mizume. I can't even get that one pronounced right now. Looks like most of these are like vegetarian snacks. Yeah. That's okay though. Yeah. Like, let's ask you if they're like a vegetarian or not. Like yeah. That one. It's no vegetarian. So that's kind of neat. Hmm. Give you a little better look at that. Okay, it's got a little silk packet in there. Do you want to eat? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Interesting flavor. Neat. Nice. The seeds are good for you too. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm usually not one for nuts and seeds, but I can handle this. The reason being is I don't have the best teeth in the world, so it kind of hurts the teeth to eat certain things like this. 
Well, I've just never been crazy about nuts and stuff. You married one. Well, you're a whole different story. Okay. So there's that bad boy. Mmm. I like. Ooh, this looks delicious. I think it's this right here. Yep. The Amori Apple Caramel Yakoi Sobo. This cookie uses apple that's squished away from the Amori Japan's apple prefecture. The addition of sweet apple caramel butter gives you this stable cell cookie A. It's got like a softer, Yakoi. cheery texture. Neat! It's sweet and it is vegetarian. God, get that smell. Oh. It smells like that caramel lollipops. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Oh my god, these things are so soft. Blood. Nice little thing is a cookie. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh my god. Mmm. <laughs> the, the apple taste in here. It's on par. It's like a fresh apple. Mmm. You can't tell I'm enjoying this at all. That's <laughs> mm. really soft. Mm-hmm. I think they got better snacks than Americans. Oh, yeah. Well, this there's a little more healthy. Yep. Gave two of these things, so... <laughs> Next up. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Ah. This is the puku puku Thai. Thai or red snapper are associated with New Year's celebrations as a symbol of good luck, of good fortune. This next share is that lucky shape, but it's filled with an airy chocolate mousse and the two mochi wafers. Or a nod to the more traditional Japanese sweet, Monaka. Monaka. You want to break in half? Yeah. <clears throat> I, I'll give you the tail. Okay. It's really fluffy. Uh huh. Oh, God. Mmm. Mm. Very airy. Very airy. It almost melts in your mouth. Mmm. That was so good. I love this. Hey, you don't get stuff like this in like Japan, great. Mm mm. <laughs> I can't tell you're enjoying that. No, no, no. Mm. Might as well go with this. Just open one pack. Yeah. There's no point in opening both of them since we're just mm -hmm. trying it. That is delicious. And that is, we've also got tea in here apparently, but I ain't gonna do tea on camera. No. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we didn't know about both of them, because. Oh, wow. I can't find the thing. Well, there's something good. Well, the thing starts at page eight. I don't know. I don't know. 
Whatever they... Oh, there they are. Don Don Yaki. Well. It's supposed to be a savory flavor. Looks like cereal. Yeah. It makes it salty. I don't know if you'll be out for this one or not. Not my favorite. <laughs> I don't think it would be. Are you good to have them both? Okay. I ain't complaining. Pick something. Got these little thingies. I think it's like a strawberry or something in it. Something? Yeah, white strawberry. They used an extra strawberry. Oh my god. They did. It's like a free straw strawberry. Mmm. That's pretty neat. Mm hmm. It tastes like a dried strawberry, but not really. Mm hmm. It's good. Mmm. That's good. I'll we'll just open one of those. Yeah, we'll open one of these. This is a pear fromage biscuit. <clears throat> yeah. I like that they kind of gave you two of some of these. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm hmm. Japan crate normally don't do that. No, they usually give you one and that's it. Ooh. Ooh, it smells so buttery. Does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Light and flaky. Oh, wow. It's delicious. Mmm. It's raining. Mm. Turn the pit. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a that's like a mochi cake or something like that. Nah, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of scared. Matcha chocolate stick cake. Yeah, you're you're gonna like this more than I will. Probably. I like my matcha. And I'm not crazy about matcha. And I'm the one that ordered a whole thing of matcha tea. That's really nice. It's nice and spongy. Yeah. Oh, it is. I'll take a small piece. I'll let you have the rest of it. I'm gonna be snacking around today, mm -hmm. aren't I? Maybe it doesn't have a little overpowering smell to it mm -mm. either. I like you could handle that. I really like it. And I'm really weird about mocha. That's tasty. It's really tasty. I guess this is the tea, huh? Mm-hmm. Screen yeah, tea. Just really nice green tea. It's really pretty design on it. Whatever these are. Thanks for opening that. Oh, there it is. Edamame Simbe. Made with summer harvest edamame, edamame bit. Bit. Bits. 
baked into the cracker. And the senbei is sprinkled with kinako roasted soybean powder. And it has a delicious nutty crunch. Excuse me. Oh, I don't hate it. Oh, I hate it. Probably give you the second one. You don't like it? I'm not big on crunch. Well, I'll eat it if you don't want it. Good though. Yeah, I could handle crunchy stuff better than you can. Mm hmm. Really good. Mm hmm. These things look really cute. Mm hmm. These things are, um, you know, I know the name for them off the top of my head. Right, there we go. Yeah. Mochin Dongo Mochi. I kind of feel like it was like a mochi of some sort. Mm hmm Dongo is a big thing in Japan. Oops. Pick a flavor. Pick a color. Not so springy. It's soft. Mmm. Mmm. It's got really good sweetness to it, but it's not overpowered by it. Mm. It's about one o'clock. Mmm. What's about one? Yeah, I take it. It's a green and laxy. Oops. Spit on the container. Oh well. Mmm. Mm. It's good. I should have brought my trash can over here. Oh, yeah. Setochi Sudachi. <coughs> that is. If you can find that. Right there. Okay. Oh, you're definitely not going to like this, I bet. Seaweed, seaweed tempura. <laughs> See, I'm the one here who likes all the fishy stuff, so. The flavor of it's supposed to be savory. It also contains small, whatever that is. Uh, mollusk shellfish. So if you got like a seafood allergy, well, that would be a good thing. I have a seafood allergy, Wayne. And I still have to try it. Get you one. Mm. Here's what they look like. See the seaweed on the back of it. Yep, you're not gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> and heck, what is this? <laughs> Disgusting. I'm drinking my sweet tea like a southern girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing you got to expect from these crates. Is you're going to get some fishy items. Literally. If you don't like them, just give them to someone. Yep. Or prank someone. Yep. I think these will probably be even better. Because these are, I think these are like a pickle plum fry stick <laughs> type thing. You put them good later. Yep. So let's try these. I'm interested in the sake candy. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> oh my god, they're cute. Two string fries. 
Not bad. Okay. I can eat those. Not good. I like them. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, we've only got one item really left in the box. We do, don't we? Suck it, candy. That's more your treat. That looks like card candy. I think it is. It's yuzu sake candy. You gotta try one though. I know. I have a feeling it'll be fairly sweet. If I can get into it. Um, There we go. They're really pretty. Oh, they're cute! They're from inside the baggie. They look like beads. Mm. This is mocha. Yuzu. Yuzu. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. I can dig that. Right here it is. Homemade Yuzu Sake Candy. This candy is handcrafted by the artisans and uh, the Manji ex exclusive for Boksu. Our, our version blends Yuzu juice and peel with sake for a refreshing citrusy candy. This candy contains 0.01% alcohol content. Please consume responsibly. Well, it's going to take a lot of that to get drunk. Yeah, you ain't gonna get drunk off of this whole bag. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption. But, <clears throat> what'd you think of the box, all except for the fishy little treats here and there? I enjoyed it. Did you? 98% of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I am excited for the next box. Me too. Yeah, it even says on the front there, premium Jeffy's snacks. But, yeah. Uh, again, I think I've got a referral code for y'all, so I'll look that up. If I do, it'll be down in the bottom here. Along with a link to my channel. And I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. Be looking forward to more. So, happy wing. I'm Sabrina. Well, we will see you in another video.